Hello everyone, today I'm making Malva pudding. <laughs> okay, without further ado. Um, this is the single recipe. I normally make the double recipe because I always have a lot of guests. But in this time, it's just a single one. One egg. Vanilla essence. Um, two teaspoons. You can add one teaspoon if you like. I just want a bit more. Um, some butter, a tablespoon of butter, some jam, this is a tablespoon and a bit, get all that out, and one cup of sugar, and then just give this a nice whisk. Okay. okay, and the most common question people ask me is if, why is my mouth putting white or why did it turn bitter? And that all has to do with the action of the bicarbonate of soda. Sometimes your measurements is out. Sometimes the ingredient itself is maybe expired. There are so many reasons. So it's all about just try and try again. Okay. tablespoon of vinegar, one cup of flour, but I'm just going to add half of it so long, and one cup of milk, and I'll add half of that. I'll give it a gentle stir. People, this is a decadent, but also delicious pudding. And the nice thing about <laughs> the Malva pudding is, it's supposed to um, stick to the pan. It doesn't have to come loose like a cake. And that's why me and Hadija always say, my twin sister, if it doesn't come out, if it sticks to the pan, you call it a pudding. <laughs> if it doesn't stick, you call it a cake. <laughs> okay. The rest of the flour. And then here I have one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, which is the same as baking soda. It's one and the same thing. Half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt and then the rest of the milk. Okay, so now we give that a gentle stir. Okay, and when we come back. I'm going to pour this in the dish and bake it in a preheated oven, 180 degrees, for 30 to 35 minutes. And we check for doneness, you know, always with a, a skew. You can even use a knife. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> so like I said, guys, this is a the smaller Malva pudding. And this is just a square um, baking pan I've got. It's an old one. I just lightly kiss it with butter and then in it goes. Okay, and you know, I like every bit has come out. There we go. Okay. this okay so this is going into the oven and then we'll be back I'm going to show you the results I'll also be heating up a can of idle milk with some vanilla 
teaspoon and a couple of tea, a tablespoons of sugar that I'll heat up and I'll pour over the malva pudding when it comes out and then on the side I'll have some custard okay so we'll be right back okay guys it's out of the oven and my other tip is if it's not brown enough there's the timer going off let it go for another five to ten minutes in the oven so this is um 200 ml of evaporated milk and i warmed it up and immediately you pour it over see there it bubbles up okay and when we come back I'm gonna dish up okay <laughs> okay I'm back and now I'm gonna dish up and I'll just use a spoon like that. not too big a piece I'm gonna think I'm a gimba <laughs> get that color Can I? <laughs> okay, there we go. And then, of course, okay, you guys see? I'm gonna pour some custard over. Mm -hmm. You can make the custard as thick or as thin as you like. And there you have it. Malva pudding with custard. Please try it at home. Get that nice and light. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.